Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time it is going to be more Dragoonity combos in the year of 2020. I was so ready to be done with making these cards, these combos. Um, I was so ready to be done with them, but Konami released one card that truly did change everything about how the deck combos, that being Dragoonity Glow. The other cards like Legatus, Remus... Uh, a reed bear gram those change other aspects of the deck but the one thing that is the most impactful card that was released was definitely dragoonity glow it completely changes the way the combos are structured the way they play out synodus plus tuner is finally a good two card combo again since agrapane was banned like before when agrapane was legal synodus plus tuner was the bread and butter two card combo you were able to you know do you know things with it but then it was terrible after Hagrapane was banned, and it literally never became anything. We always need to play with extenders. Um, and then on top of that, Glow casually helped fix a problem with the deck that introduced itself through Erratas. The Errata of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon makes that card very unappealing to play. But with the release of Glow and also a Reed Bear just happening to be the right sort of card being released at the right time, we're able to swap red eyes darkness metal dragon out of all of our combos and replace them with a far more abusable card that being Leviton. very much abusable because glow is consistently accessed in all of our combos which means that mistleton is consistently accessed in all of our combos meaning barca has increased value there's so many different things that change about the fundamentals of the Dragoonity combos, and I'm only going to be scratching the surface in this video, but in this video I'm going to be showing you three variations of Dragoonity combos. First, the standard Senatus plus Tuner combo, what it gets you, and like the basic fundamentals of what a standard Dragoonity combo looks like utilizing Senatus, uh, and even some of them utilizing Ducks. Then I'll be showing you the expanded version of that combo, which is Senatus plus Tuner plus a generic extender, something like, you know, Garuda, Dark Worm, you know, something that just specials itself and is just on the board at the right time. I'll go over more detail when I get there. And then third combo I'm going to be showing you is one of the best combos that I can perform under the Senatus restriction, which is what you see right now, which is three negates, a Reed Bear, Crystal Wing, and Borload Savage Dragon. Full power Goliath, Lechery and Scale that was searched mid-combo, so no spells, no extra deck, three negates, and this was done off a three-card combo. The version I'm going to be showing you is Synodus plus Tuner, plus if you hard open Dragoonity Glow. Dragoonity Glow truly did change everything, and this video is going to be long, but it's the fundamentals of how these combos need to be structured if you want to get the most out of them and start tweaking them around going forward. So, strap in, and let's get right in. Alright, so the first combo I'm going to be showing you is just the simple Senatus plus Tuner combo. This is what I believe to be the most cookie cutter bread and butter combo of the deck. Now this combo is also possible if you're using Ducks equipping a Tuner from Grave, and Ducks does have a lot more open-ended combo varieties and like variations, because you're not locked into Dragons from your extra deck for most of it. But Senatus is a superior starter card, effectively, so I believe that the way the deck is going to be like most successfully uh, like viable in the metagame or on a competitive level is through Synodus because Synodus is a starter card built into itself. And so Synodus plus Tuner, this is the most basic bare bones of the combos that what I would consider a modern Dragoonity deck needs to be able to perform. And they're finally good again. They're finally good combos. Synodus plus Tuner hasn't been a good combo since Agrapane was banned because there was literally nothing to do with the resources. But now the resources can flow forward in a way that are actually good. So for this, you're going to go Synodus. Discarding whichever tuner you have and equip the other tuner from your deck to it. If you start with Phalanx, you get Coos. If you start with Coos, you get Phalanx. It does not matter which one you start with, uh, the resources will be funneled around in the way that makes sense later. But then you're going to special the tuner and you're going to synchro with the Synodus into Dragoonie Knight Gatorg, who is the most important starting card in all of your combos because it allows you to get into Romulus while also getting access to Gatorg. So, Gatorg's effect is going to be activated here. You're going to add Mist Valley Baby Rock from your deck to your hand and then you're going to discard the Baby Rock which triggers its effect to special summon itself. Then you're going to link these two cards away into our very important extra deck boy, Dragoonity Knight Romulus. And then Romulus' effect is going to be activated, and we're going to search for Dragoonity Glow. This card really does change everything, strictly because it existing being searched off Romulus means that all these combos have a very, very nice funnel point into getting a lot more resources in play and doing so in a very, very tight-knit, uh, like, very... Uh, impactful way uh but so glow you're going to use that to add mistleton from your deck or graveyard to your hand wherever it may be in this combo it's in deck and then you're going to tribute dragoonity knight romulus because it is a dragoonity card weird to so special summon the mistleton from your hand 
Now, Mistletoe on Summon can equip any dragon from your grave, as long as it's a Dragoonie name. So you're going to equip the Gaterg, and then you're going to use the Glow Effect in Grave, banishing itself to Special the Gaterg in Defense Position. Now, Gaterg gets to trigger its effect here. You get to add Zephyros and discard Zephyros, and now you have an Atum play. So you get to overlay these two into Hieratic Dragon King of Atum. And for this, you're going to detach Mistleton. I always detach Mistleton. It's just like the easiest thing to remember. Uh, some, t uh, some combos you have Romulus engraved, so it doesn't matter if you detach the Mistleton. But in some combos, you don't have the Romulus engraved, and you need to detach the Mistleton, right? Uh, and in this one, you have the Mistleton engraved, uh, which is needed. So, you're going to use a Tum to get the Leviton on the board, and the Leviton's effect is going to activate equipping the Mistleton we just detached. Uh, in some combos, this isn't what you equip, like, but in this combo it is, right? I try to get as many, like, short cuttable, like, uh, bits of information uh, overlapping between all my combos as possible. So detaching Mistleton off the Atum is typically like the easiest bit of shortcutted information to go through all the combos, uh, as well as like the Gaterg sequencing and stuff. Like Gaterg always adds and discards the same cards the first and second time. It's always Baby Rock Zephyros, like stuff like that, right? But so you're going to equip Mistleton in this version of the combo, and then you're going to bounce Mistleton to hand and pay uh, for, or lose, pay, pay, lose, whatever. Take 400 life <laughs> for Zephyros to put the Mistleton back in hand. And then you're going to tribute the Leviton to special the Mistleton, and then Mistleton is going to equip Kus. So we use this Mistleton twice. I mean, that's pretty good. Then you're going to special summon the Kus with its own effect, and you're going to synchro using Kus as a four and the Zephyros into Dragoonity Knight Barka. Now Barka is going to equip specifically the Kus, the Phalanx, and the Romulus to itself. These get to be special summoned as extenders, and the Romulus being equipped to Barka, because Barka can equip all Dragoonity Dragons in your graveyard, is going to allow us to abuse Leviton, right? So what we're gonna do is first, we wanna special summon the Kus, and we want to sync off, or not sync off, link off. Link row summon. We wanna link off the Atum and the Kus, into just a generic dragon that points uh, down. So this could be like a companion whelp, could be a second Romulus. I typically prefer to run the uh, Hieratic Seal um, of Heavenly Spheres, specifically because if certain hands do get interacted with in certain ways, sometimes you do have to end on it. Uh, but that's just you know, a personal little side note. But so you've used the Coos, you get to special summon the Phalanx, getting it removed from the Barca, and then you'd banish the Barca because it is equipped with a Dragoony monster being the Romulus, in order to special summon the Leviton back from the graveyard, and then Leviton's effect is going to equip the Coos that we had already linked off with. So it's like really good for resource management. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to special summon the Coos, and we're going to link the Coos away into uh, Guard Dragon Pisty in this zone, because we have the ability to because the Hyrax Seal is here, and now we need to generate a zone for this LP to be uh, pointing to. So we're going to link away the uh, Leviton and the Hieratic Seal into Triple Burst Dragon. So now the Pisty has a place to point to, and we have a Tuner and Leviton back in the graveyard. So for this combo, we get to abuse that. We're going to use Pisty, and that's going to bring back Leviton again. And then Leviton again is going to equip a Tuner to it. In this case, the Coos that we linked away. So we're moving these resources around rather well. Then from here, we're going to link the Pisty and the Triple Burst, because they are two monsters with link ratings of four, or the total four that are the same type and attribute into Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel. This card comes out in uh, Battles of Legend uh, worldwide, so people in EU and other territories can finally use this card. So that means I don't have to be like feeling guilty about including it in combos anymore. But so you're gonna summon Darkness Metal, Dragon of Dark Steel, and then you're going to synchro off the, uh, the Mistleton and the Phalanx into Borload Savage Dragon. Borload Savage Dragon is gonna use its effects to equip the triple burst dragon that we linked away with. So now it has three negates. If I can find my dice, where did I put my dice? They're my dice. Very professional. Uh, but gets three counters put on it. And then you get a special summon Coos here. You're going to link the Coos away into Guard Dragon LP. And then you're going to use Darkness Metal, the Dragon Dark of Dark Steel's ability, which locks us out of link summoning for the rest of the turn after we use the effect. But it's fine. We are going to special summon one of our dragon tuners, either Coos or Phalanx. I personally prefer to do Phalanx because Coos has more utility uh, for going into things like Ascalon and stuff like that later. And then the Phalanx goes on bottom of deck and synchroing with the eight that is Leviton into Dragoonity Knight, a Reed Bear. So basically the other Crystal Wing. So instead of being able to end on Crystal Wing, Leviton being the right level allows us to end on a Reed Bear. 
Now we haven't used Elpy's effect yet, so we get to use Elpy, and this gets to summon the Amorphage Goliath from our deck. So like, a self-contained two-card combo of Sinidus plus Tuner, in its raw form, gets you to a board like this, which is Goliath at full strength, so it can't be killed in battle by anything smaller than 2750, and it's preventing both players from going into the extra deck. You have a Monster Negate with a Reed Bear, that's difficult to play around, and a Omni Negate with Savage Dragon that is difficult to play around. So like that is very good for the bare minimum of what this deck can perform, and any extender that you could add to this only makes the combo get better. It only like it lets you end on the same board, but the resources move themselves around in a way that allow you to get to a Morphage Lechery, and have a Lechery face up in your uh, Pendulum Zone. Meaning that neither player can activate spells or spell effects, and then they're dealing with the double negates and the goliath. And then certain combos with certain superior extenders allow the combo to be crystal wing here with this board with lechery and the scale, right? So the combos only get bigger and better. So I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to show you one of the expanded versions of the combo. All right, so the combo I'm going to show you now is like the most standard deviation of the Senatus plus tuner combo that you'll be seeing in your deck, or at least decks that I'm going to be building. The combo is Senatus plus Tuner plus a typical extender. This extender could be Mistleton, it could be Dragon Shrine for Dark Worm, it could be Garuda, it could be Legatus, it could be a whole host of different things. It's just very generic, a very generic extender. Even something like Baby Rock actually plays into this. Uh, like, you could draw Baby Rock and then add Garuda instead of uh, having the Garuda in your opening hand, right? You discard the Baby Rock, it still specials itself, now you have the Garuda that you can special and that's your extender, right? There's a few different ways to go about this. Uh, and there are certain uh, variations on how the extender plays into certain combos, like Mistleton is going to be different from this one, uh, but that plays into some different combos that I'm going to be showing you in future videos. But the most generic extenders like Dark Worm, Garuda, whatever, you know, those kinds of cards, that is what this combo is going to be showing you. So, for this one, you're going to Normal Summon Sinidus and you're going to discard your tuner and you're going to equip the corresponding tuner from your deck. You always want to make sure you have one copy of Coos and one copy of Phalanx in circulation because Phalanx doesn't restrict you into what you can synchro summon with it, right? And you're always going to need Coos to make the Barco. So you're going to synchro those away into Gaederg, and then Gaederg here is going to add a Baby Rock and discard Baby Rock and special summon it. And in this case, we have Garuda, but if, you ha if your extender was like Dragon Shrine for Dark Worm or whatever, or Ravine discarding Dark Worm, or Legatus or whatever, it would just be on the board at this point, right? So Garuda gets summoned here by Banishing Senatus, but like if it was Dark Worm, it would already be here. If it was uh, Legatus, you could special it here. Uh, if it's Remus that you discarded to add Dragon Ravine, it could be special summoned here. There's like just a few different ways that this, you know, plays out. But so from here, what you're going to do is the way this combo uh, deviates is that you're going to, because you have the extra card on field, you're going to link away the Garuda and the Baby Rock or the extender you have and the Baby Rock into uh, your Romulus. And then Romulus is going to add Glow again. And the big thing about this combo that makes it like really good for uh, card economy is the fact that you're not having to tribute your Romulus for Mistleton. Uh, that's like the big thing. So you're going to add Glow, you're going to activate Glow, which adds Mistleton to your hand, and then you get to tribute the Gaederg that you left on the board for the Mistleton, which re-equips the Gaederg, and then you get to banish the Glow from your grave to special the Gaederg. And then Gaederg gets to add and discard Zephyros, and then you get to make the Atum play, while still having a Link monster on your board, instead of having to tribute this card and lose the advantage that it uh, gives you for not having to make a Link 2 again. You don't have to sink any more resources into a Link 2 to make zone placements for your Guard Dragons, because this stays up here. But so from here... This is where uh, Detaching Mistleton as like the common standard for your combos comes into play because uh, you need it for later uh, and like the Gaederg being under the Atum doesn't matter because we're going to be linking away with that before it matters anyway. But so, Atum effect for Leviton and then Leviton in this instance is going to equip Koos. Previously I showed you we equipped Mistleton and bounced it, but this time we need a card in hand for Gaederg to be able to add Lechery for us. So we're going to special the Koos and then we're going to bounce the Leviton to hand with Zephyros and take 400. Now from here, I'm going to synchro the Koos and the Zephyros away into Barca again, and then Barca is going to equip three here. It's going to equip Koos, Phalanx, and the Mistleton we detached from the Atum. Like, that's super important. The Romulus isn't in Graveyard this time, so we can't just say, oh, Romulus is in Grave, so it doesn't matter what we detached, uh, what we detached off of the Atum. No, it, it matters now, 
because we need something to be able to stay on Barca that is something that's not going to impact the way we have to adjust the combos around it, right? So then from here, you're going to special the Coos, you're going to link the Coos away into Pisty, because we don't have to waste uh, materials going into a new Link too, because the Romulus is still here. And then we get to special this Phalanx just to get it off the Barca, and then we get to link the Atum and the Romulus away into our Triple Burst. So triple burst blast dragon, or not blast dragon? I think that was his, I think it was his OCG name was triple burst blast. I digress. Triple burst dragon, pisty effect, because we have the zones for it. Is going to special summon the Gaterg that we just put in grave because it was under the atom, and now we get to use the Gaterg effect, and we get to add lechery from deck to hand, and then we get to discard the Leviton. So we've put a card in our hand mid combo that allowed us to search lechery with no investment. Very nice, right? Now from here. We're going to link the Pisty and the Triple Burst away into Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel, And then we have the capability of doing quite a few things. What we're going to do is we're going to Synchro the Phalanx and the Gator go away into Borload Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon is going to again equip the Triple Burst like it did previously, get three negates and get its uh, 1200 attack boost. And now from here, we're going to banish the Barca because we didn't need to do this mid combo, we get to do it just later, and summon the Leviton. Leviton on summon is going to equip a tuner, so it doesn't matter which tuner you're getting. And then we special the tuner, and then we link the tuner away into LP. And now from here, we get to use the Darkness Metal uh, effect to special a tuner back. Uh, and now we can't link summon for the rest of the turn, but it's fine because we already did a link summon we need. Specialing a tuner, this tuner goes to the bottom of deck when we synchro away with it. Synchroing with the Leviton into, again, Dragoody Knight a Reed Bear. And then from here, we get to scale the Lechery and use LP's effect to get Goliath from deck. So as you can see, just adding an extender in, an extender that allows you to do the Gaderg play and not have to tribute Romulus after you add Glow, just makes a whole host of differences because it means that you get to maintain a resource that you're not throwing away mid-combo. Like going into Romulus, getting Glow, and then tributing Romulus for Mistleton is throwing away a resource because that card took two monsters to make. And then the card that like you're making to replace Romulus's presence on the board takes two monsters to make as well. So you're losing a card there that if you get to keep that card on the board, then you're able to manipulate cards around in your hand to get access to a Morphage Lechery without needing anything else. No outside influence required. Uh, so like this is the most standard version of what I would consider the standard Synodus plus Tuner plus Extender combo. And again, these combos are also possible with Ducks equipping a Tuner from Grave with an Extender as well. Ducks equipping like Phalanx from Grave uh, with a Garuda or a, like a Dark Worm or whatever also does these combos. The only difference is during those combos you are making Halka Fibrax at some point uh, that changes between each combo that you're doing and that's being used to get the second Tuner out of your deck. But you're getting the two Tuners out of your deck uh, at the beginning with Senatus, which is why I think Senatus is like a superior card because it's a starter card in its own right, right? There are a few more expanded forms. There's a better version of this and it's the one I'm going to show you right now. All right, so this is the last combo I'm going to show you in this video and this is the above standard version of the combos. This combo is going to yield three negates, Goliath and Lechery, and this combo is one of the best combos that the Senatus versions of the deck performs off of the least amount of cards. Synodus plus Tuner, you know, standard combo starter, and this time we've opened with Dragoonity Glow. This card truly does change everything. Now, before Remus existed, and we knew about Remus, this was the only version of the combo that was like the starting cards that yielded a three card combo that did this, but now there's other combo variations that allow you to get to uh, three negates Goliath Lechery as well, those being like uh, combinations like Remus plus Dark Worm plus Synodus or a Tuner, because you'll get access uh, to the Dark Worm for a free extender, the Remus is a free extender while searching Dragon Ravine, and then it can it completes the rest of your uh, Synodus uh, Tuner package. Like, there's a bunch of different other variations now because of uh, Remus existing. Uh, but this was the most standard one, and this is the this is the one that I would expect you to, like, not see the most, but the one that, like, is the most complicated to play out and plays out the most differently from the other ones, whereas the other ones kind of flow into one another and are easy to figure out if you follow the rules of the previous combo and just add the extra pieces where they come. This one is a bit different, so this is what I'm going to be showing you. So this one, the big thing that's different about this one is that you're getting to make a tum before ever making Romulus, which is what changes a lot of the sequencing. So, Synodus starting tutor, getting a tuner, so get the corresponding tuner, obviously, like we've already covered, 
And then from here, you're going to activate Glow. Now, Glow is just a strictly better copy of Mistleton in your deck uh, because it's Mistleton, but with an extra effect. It literally just gives the Mistleton an extra effect. I, I don't know why they did that, but okay. Uh, but so you're going to use, you're going to activate Glow, uh, get the Mistleton. You're going to synchro the um, the uh, Synodus and the Tuner away into Gator. And you're going to use Gator's effect to add and discard Baby Rock. And then Baby Rock is going to special summon itself. Now from here, you're going to tribute the Gator for the Mistleton. And the Mistleton is going to equip the Gator. And then you're going to banish the Glow from Grave to special summon the Gator, right? So the way this combo plays out differently from the ones before it, if I didn't already mention so, is because we're making a ton before we make Romulus. Uh, being able to make a ton before you make Romulus is something the other combos I have shown you have not done. We either made Romulus and tributed it off for the ability to make a tum, or we had an extra card laying around, meaning we got to keep the Romulus, but we were allowed to go into a tum with the Romulus on board, but it was still after Romulus, right? In this instance, we're able to make a tum before Romulus, and that changes a whole host of how the thing plays out. So, with this, the Gator gets to use its effect to add Zephyros and discard Zephyros because it's on board for the second time, and we get to make the Atum, again, before Romulus, that being the big uh, difference between this combo sequence and the last one. But so, detaching the Mistleton, Summoning the Leviton from deck, and then using Leviton's effect to equip Koos. Now this one, since we're going for as many Synchro Summons on the back end as possible, we actually need more tuners than we have in circulation, or at least more economic use of tuners than what are in circulation. We need a third tuner on our ending board, but we only have two copies of tuners in circulation right now. One of those things is going to be fixed by the time we make Romulus, but the other one we're fixing right now. In this instance of this combo, you're going to bounce Baby Rock to your hand. For the Zephyros, and that's going to be like huge later. If you play correctly, this is huge later because it's just like we added it, discarded it, got a free resource out of it, and then we're going to get a free resource out of it later, right? So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to link the Leviton and the Kusawe into Romulus, the Romulus that we get to make now, very like late into the combo. And because we've already used Glow, it makes no sense to add Glow because we've already used Glow, right? In this instance, we get to do something that we used to do, which is add Divine Lance from deck to hand. We get to activate Divine Lance, put it on the Romulus, use the Divine Lance to equip a Coos from deck to the Romulus, and then we get to special summon the Coos. So now we get to make a big, juicy Barca, because this is a Barca that gets to equip four. Three of them are cards that special summon, and then the other one is a card that enables Leviton. So we get to summon this Barca with the Coos and the uh, Zephyros, and we get to go Coos, Coos, Phalanx, and Mistleton. The Mistleton that we, importantly, detached off the Atum. The card that we're always detaching off Atum is Mistleton. So you get all three tuners. The Baby Rock is in your hand. You have this Barca out. So now what you get to do is you get to start playing around with your cards. So Special Summon Coos. Link it away into Guard Dragon Pisty. And then you get to uh, link these two away. Because you need to be able to make uh, use of the Gator. So you link these two away into Triple Burst Dragon. And then we're going to use the Pisty to revive the Gator that just went to Graveyard because it was under the Atum. Now from here, you don't want to activate this Atum effect yet, or this uh, this uh, Gator effect yet, because if you're discarding Baby Rock, you're locked to Special Summoning Dragons by Pisty. So you wouldn't be able to use it. So we're going to link these away first into Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel. And then we're going to use the Gator effect. So we'll use Gator, add Lechery to hand, and then discard the Baby Rock. And the Baby Rock Special Summons itself. This is in Graveyard. Um, so like we got a resource out of that and like we got a free lechery pretty nice right now from here you get to synchro the baby rock and the uh, gator go away into the Borload savage dragon the savage dragon again is going to equip triple burst getting three negates three negation counters I guess you should say but so from here we have a lot of cards we can play around with so we're going to special summon phalanx we're going to special summon coos and we need to keep the uh, Phalanx on board for the uh, for the last Synchro uh, uh, because we need to be able to make Crystal Wing with it, right? We need to be able to make Crystal Wing with it, and Coos doesn't allow us to do that because you can only Synchro into Dragoonities. I'm starting to lose my train of thought here. Um, but what you need to do is you need to make LP first. So you link the Phalanx away into LP, and then from here, you're going to banish the Barca, because it has the Mistleton equipped to it, to summon the Leviton that's in our grave. We're abusing the living hell out of this card. Leviton's effect equips Phalanx back, and then special summons Phalanx. So we get the Phalanx back on the board, and then we synchro the Coos and the uh, Leviton away into a Reed Bear. 
and we haven't used the darkness metals effect yet so we're going to use the darkness metal and we're going to get back the gate egg getting back the gate egg it'll go back into our extra deck when we synchro with it so we'll synchro with the gate egg and the phalanx into crystal wing synchro dragon and now from here lp effect for goliath and you get to put lechery in scale now like i said there's a few different ways this combo is done but this is the one that plays out the most differently from the other variations the other variations like Remus plus uh, Dark Worm plus uh, Tuner or Sinidus or, you know, weird variations of those like Remus uh, plus Tuner plus Sinidus uh, is another version of it. Um, there's a lot of different weird wacky variations that get you to this, uh, but they are very like specific into what they are needed. Like I said, before Remus existed, it was specifically Sinidus, Tuner, Glow was the only variation of it that did it in three cards. Uh, that got you to three negates goliath lechery um but now there's more copies of uh like variations that get you there in three card combinations because of remus existing but they all function slightly differently this is the one that functions the most functionally different from any of the combos i've shown you before which is why i showed you specifically this one but so yeah this is a pretty good ending board Mo two monster negates omni negate no extra deck summons no spells like that's pretty good. You can't get Dark Rulered. You can't get Super Polyed. Uh, like, the biggest problem for your board is getting Sphere Moted or Kaiju. Like, that's that's it. Like, if these power spells and stuff are not things you're going to be dealing with going second. Uh, you can't get Lightning Stormed, obviously. Uh, you could get Double Even Lead, but, like, that's going to be, you know, an, an issue regardless of uh, what ending board you put out. Uh, you could rotate this out for Greed, uh, depending on, like, how you want to side deck for certain matchups. Like, this is what I consider, like, the epitome of what a modern Dragoonie deck can do, especially if it's being restricted to what Sinidus allows us to do. Ducks allows you to be a lot more open-ended, because Ducks, you know, doesn't restrict you to dragons. Um, but Sinidus being a superior starter card, this is sort of like what I consider the gold standard of how this deck can function. But anyway, I've probably kept you here for far longer than you wanted to be here. I'm sorry about that. But I had to go over, like, these combos. I had to go through these, because these are what I consider the base variations of these combos. The base variations. There's a lot of different variations of these. They're playable in almost every hand I've tested with the deck so far in some form or variety. And then there are combos that are worse than this, like combos like Sinidus plus Sinidus. Or, like, Sinidus discarding just a Dragoonity card that isn't a tuner and no other extenders. Like, even that is a combo. Uh, like there's so many different variations of like lesser combos as well that are still what I would consider impactful considering that the deck didn't even have access to them before but they have access to them now because of glow so Dragoonity Glow truly does change everything about this deck you basically have to relearn the combo structures of the entire deck from the ground up which is what I've been doing and basically I hope that you get to have as much fun with this deck as I do so anyway guys as always thanks for watching let me know what you think in the comments down below like comment subscribe all that nonsense Thanks for your time, thanks for watching as usual, and take care. I will see you in the next video.